these are the orange lights that I got. I really like the narrow space uh, and they're not too tall. The ones that I saw online, they're more of like a knob, almost like a, a big mole sitting on top of your truck. So I don't really like those. So I like the, the nice narrow space. So what I'm doing is, um, I'm gonna put them on there if I want to. I mean, I may smoke these, um, but we'll see. Because everything else is smoked and blacked on the truck anyway, so we'll see how, how it looks once I put it on there. But right now, I got these pieces off, these pieces off, I got this hanging here. I'm ready to pull this down, but this piece is in the way. Now they don't have two simple screws, you can just pop, pop out the two screws and pull it out. So I'm trying to figure out how this comes off without breaking anything because technically I could just pull on this, but I'm afraid it's gonna break some things. All right. <laughs> so I'm just figuring it out myself and I just yanked on it. And I didn't break anything, that's cool. So there's these little clips, these four clips that were holding it up, nothing else. All I did, it was just up there like this. I just pinched the insides and got my fingers in there and then I just pulled it down. It's better to do it from the center so that hopefully you can get you you uh, can get all four off and not because if you pull it from the back you might break here in the center. So better to pull it from from the center. This I can leave because all I'm doing is pulling this down so that I can get. I'm gonna drill the holes for the wires on the, from the roof up here. So I just need to be able to grab the wires and pull them down and run them down here. Good. So that's enough. I can see the roof. So now it's time to put the lights on the top position where they need to go. Screw the holes. Run the wire. All right. So I just want to show you guys um, the quality of these of these lights. Uh, these ones came from Arbor Freight. It's about 15 bucks for five, which is a great price. Uh, the quality of the plastic, I can feel it's 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 very sturdy. Like I said, I'm, I may smoke these. Uh, we're just gonna see how it looks when I put them on, and then if I, you know, how the light looks at night. Um, obviously, I'm gonna have to do something with this silver screw. Probably replace it with a black one or paint it. Um, I like the film on the inside. You can see there's a nice film, as well as the ground. This is where the ground uh, screw is gonna go into. So this one and this one is gonna be. The two screws that are going to go into the ceiling and then um, into the roof and then it has a good look how thick that padding is right there which is nice it's got a nice thick padding and um, it also has a nice curve so if you look at it you can actually see it curves in the center so it'll fit the roof which is good so I just wanted to just explain to you those few things um, before I put them on there. So these clamps are not waterproof, but I do like them a lot because it's very simple to put put together to, to um, attach in there and then you just close it with this clamp so um, you know if you do this right you won't be having water coming into your truck so you won't have to worry about it being waterproof but they do have waterproof connectors which I do use underneath the truck you know for, for those reasons The grabber. Grabber. <laughs> it's a cool tool. See, you just it just pushes on it, and it just opens it up. It's so cool for little tight spots like that. You have to get the wires through. Where you are, like a handy bot. 
yeah, you can find this Home Depot. Uh, I've seen, I've actually seen it at auto parts stores. Yeah. The firewall is right here, which is where all the wires go through. See this? So I pull this out of the way, and the motor's right back there. So all the wires go right through this hole. So I don't like the wires to be too tight, so I will I will leave a little bit of space um, in case I need to pull this out, you know, adjust things. So these are these are the lights that I have. Um, these are the ones on the hood. Is number one. Number two is the back lights when I'm reversing. Um, and number three. What is number three? Oh, number three are the walk or the lights down at the bottom. All four of those lights on the hood are all on number one. So let's see. This is number two, so number two is going to be right here. So I'm going to take, loosen this up, put another one in there. I was scared about that one because I'm the That's one. the one you did. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And then that one. So cool, it works. I pull up the yeah, apple right now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So now we're gonna put in the expensive bulbs. Ah, uh, cool. You bought them separately? Yeah. So these are the new bulbs. Um, they're amber LED light. They're the same orange bulbs that I use for right here because I replaced these two. Mm -hmm. And they're the same orange bulbs that I use for these three right here on the sides. So these are the ones that I used. Um, and I had to go to two different O'Reilly's and two different Kragans to find, um, to find them because they only stock like one or two, but I needed five. So... <laughs> Everybody had like different ones, so that's okay. But it's good that I found them, and we have enough stores in the area where I don't. Have, I can only in five miles. There's like five different stores. So, oh, flip it around. See how it didn't turn on? That means you put it in the wrong way. There you go. Looks a lot better than the white ones, huh? Uh huh. Careful. <laughs> Oops, I forgot. I opened up another box. I forgot. I think the red dot yeah, means it, the power. You have to come this way. Yeah, the the w without the dot is the ground. Okay. So at least it doesn't short anything out or anything like that. And there you go. Oh, it's cool. <laughs> I use zip ties a lot. I use them for work too. A lot. I know you use them and for everything. Yeah, I, I'm glad I got this huge container. I got this container. They have it at Lowe's and Home Depot, and it has uh, 1,500 of them. And they're you can see four different sizes and two different colors, black and white. So uh, yeah, I use them a lot. <clears throat> zip tie this just so it's out of the way. If I have to do work on the truck and everything, you know, that's why. I just zip tie it and push it out of the way. There you go. Okay, good. My new battery's been working great. Had those for a couple weeks. Right, let me go where you're at. Tie it right here. Wherever it starts popping out, that's where I zip tie it. Silent 
So when you're doing this, make sure you have your one hand in between the glass and, and your tool, and then the other hand up here on the top when you're, because if it slips, you're gonna end up cracking your glass most, most likely if you're doing it too hard. The last thing you wanna do is break your glass. So I use that machine to do to um, to screw it in, and then I use this to finish it up, tighten it up, right, nice and tight, because that way I can feel how tight it actually is. So I did all this in shorts and flip flops and uh, it took me probably about four hours. So, and I got my little clicker. There you go.